What is going on guys? Welcome to your 24th MySQL tutorial and guys, I got some good news for you. You're just going to go ahead and sit back, breathe a sigh of relief because in this lesson, it's going to be the first easy lesson. It's going to be really simple, easy to understand. I just need to talk to you guys about a really um, cool concept real quick and that is something called unions. So quite often, whenever you're making a website, you're going to need to run multiple queries but you're gonna want a single result set because you know let's say that you wanted to make a website like eBay and you run into run a query that returned all the items over 190 bids so like all the really popular items now you also wanted all the items over a thousand dollars regardless of bids maybe you're making this for your homepage or something you wanted to display the cool items so all the items that have over 190 bids and also all the items over a thousand dollars regardless of the number of bids so what you would do is you would do something like this select the name cost and bids from items where bids is greater than 190 and remember our other thing that we wanted is whenever we have an item that come on stupid mouse whenever we have an item that costs more than a thousand dollars I cannot type today I'm hitting all the wrong keys here so basically those are the two queries that we want to run however we only want one result set we only want one set of data because you know it's just a lot easier to work that way so whenever we would run these queries right here we would get a table for this and a table for this well that's not good we only want one set of data so in order to basically take more than one query and end up with only one result set just go ahead and in between your queries type the word union that's it that's all that's basically all this tutorial is this word right here takes this query and this query it runs it and it gives you one set of data how awesome is that and I know what you guys are saying right now, Bucky, unions are absolutely worthless because first of all, you could have done this and this and you could have accomplished the same thing by just using where, or, and and statements. Well, it may look a little messy, but the truth is, yes, you could. So why would you ever use unions? Well, first of all, whenever you're doing more complex filtering, guys, I just showed you guys a really simple example, but in real life, they aren't this easy you're gonna do complex filtering and you're gonna to have to use a bunch of different tables instead of the same table and whenever you do using unions is a whole lot more simple cleaner and easier to manage so don't forget about unions and also another thing there are some times that you have to use unions and you can't use where clauses and I'll show you that in just a second But before we get to that I wanna mention this please don't forget this remember since what we're doing is basically taking multiple queries and tying them together into one result set whenever you use unions your columns have to be the same you can't do something like select name cost bids from items and select name zip code address postal address and state from another table it won't work out because your tables won't tie together so again make sure that your columns are the same so that whenever they unite they can tie together nicely now what I was talking about earlier on whenever you use unions it automatically my SQL automatically removes duplicate entries so you know how we said okay select the items that are greater than 190 bids or they cost more than a thousand dollars well what if the case in this case the baby seat where it costs more than a thousand dollars and it has more than 190 bids well it doesn't list it twice it only lists it once you only see one baby seat here so what if your boss said okay actually this is like the home page of YouTube or something where you can have the top rated video and you can have the most viewed or most watched video well if you want to get a list that doesn't remove the duplicate entries then just go ahead and use union all what this does is it basically leaves those duplicate entries in so now you can go ahead and hit go and check it out if this was the front page of you know your website you would see baby sweet seat twice once because it costs more than a thousand dollars and another time because it has more than 190 bids so sometimes you want this like I said if you're making a website like YouTube and you know maybe a video was the most favorited and the most viewed they deserve both of those honors so you know there you go 
So anyways, that's all you uh, guys have for this tutorial. And another thing, before I let you guys go, whenever you use union all, that is one instance where a where clause won't do in, you know, that's it. You basically have to use union and all. You can't substitute it for anywhere. But anyways, I'm going to shut up. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.